more now on our top story, Super Typhoon Haiyan. Buildings have collapsed. A hurricane Sandy crashing on shore. Last hour, the storm made landfall in the eastern Philippines. This storm is so big, so vast. When extreme storms occur, we want to know, did a warming planet turn a merely dangerous weather event into a disastrous one? Scientists disagree over whether climate change is affecting hurricanes now, and if you look at any one storm, it's not possible to know whether global warming had an impact. But looking at hurricanes over time and forecasting into the future, researchers see a trend. To understand why, it helps to know how hurricanes, called typhoons in the Pacific, form and grow. A hurricane is like an engine, and the difference in temperature between the sea and the upper air is the fuel. Warm, moist air near the surface rises into the cold, and as it does, more air rushes in to take its place. The warm air condenses, forming clouds and releasing heat that accelerates the process. As more air rushes in, the rotating Earth gives it a nudge, and everything starts to spin. In a warming world with warmer oceans, there will be a greater temperature difference between the sea and the upper air. That adds more fuel, so the engine produces more power. The storm gets bigger, and the winds spin faster. The air will also hold more moisture, which means a storm will produce more rain. And sea levels will be higher, so a storm surge will start from a higher baseline. Does that mean more storms? Not necessarily, scientists say, but there is likely to be more destruction. We can blame climate change for that.